let's look at you know factorial program the factorial program has loops within so therefore you would uh, know need to know how it can be translated into low level instructions how does loop get translated rest of the statements are pretty easy so uh, we will look at you know, how uh, the code is generated or you know, how it maps to the low level instruction so um, as a first step you can observe that there are some variables which in this case is a global uh, variable um, num fact and i these are the global variables so these are necessary for our computation these needs to be defined then there is the input which will translate into i in num okay. and then there is uh, the value of facts initialized to 1 this is accomplished by the assignment statement assign fact 1 similarly you are going to start a loop to uh, calculate the factorial 1 by 1 so you are initializing the i to be 1 so that again is accomplished by the assign i1 statement now we have the loop so which is going to be you know, explained now so then the loop what we do we uh, we check whether i is less than or equal to m and then multiply with uh, you know, factorial and reassign it to itself and then increment i this process we go through until i becomes equal to uh, you know, greater than n so as long as it is less than or equal to n you have to enter the loop so uh, if you look at there are some variables within i fact and num so these need to be loaded in the register if you want to do this loop these need to be loaded in the register that's why you are loading num to r1 fact to r5 i to r10 okay and then now we need to do the manage the control you know so how uh, whether uh, whether we should enter the loop or whether we, you know go out of the loop these are the uh, things that we need to control so this is accomplished by uh, these statements that you can see so let's look at what is it okay so um, we need to check for whether i is less than or equal to m that is what this lte operation does less than or equal to operation does r10 as i and uh, r1 as num therefore it's saying less than or equal to r10 r1 this is what we are doing and then you have uh, um, then you, you may get either this may be true or false if it is false you want to go out so that's why you are saying go to label l2 so none of the statements below will be executed your code will come here okay but if it is true then what would happen you want to come back you want to come back and then re-execute this right if it is true that means you execute the body and then come back so when if you want to come back then you need to mark your position so that's the reason you need label l1 so l1 is a point where it it signifies the start of the loop l2 is the point which signifies the exiting of the loop so between these two is what your code is you will do the check and then you know, depending upon the uh, you know, whether the check passes or fails you will either come back or you know or uh, go out so this is what we do and now we are ready to look at what happens within the body within the body you can see that there is a multiplication operation happening and that value is assigned back to fact and that is what is accomplished by these two statements multiplication operator and the store operator and similarly i is incremented so this is done by increment operation so r10 contains i value and that is incremented and stored back and this is how the entire program works so finally we have the once you come out of the loop we need to execute the print statement which translates into output the factorial okay so this is how you now the, the code gets translated now we will look at how it is um, executing we will look at the visualization having seen the source code and its corresponding low level instructions now let's look at you know how the program runs so let's get started um, so the global variables are assigned num fact and i and then we are reading uh, the input from the keyboard 
So let's say I'm giving a value. I'll give a smaller value three because you know we want to finish the loop faster. Um, so then the next uh, is the assign. So which happens? So you can see that you know the fact value is assigned. Um, then i value is going to be assigned. That is one initialized to one. Now we'll be loading these three things. Load num and we'll be loading factorial value initialized to one and then the i value. So now we have that we are entering the loop. So um, you see the label one, nothing specifically happens here. And then you have less than or equal to, this is where the check is being done. And then the then what you do is you actually do the multiplication. So either inside the body you do the multiplication and you get one into one. And then this is being stored to the factorial. After the first iteration, it's one into one and that's stored into the. So now the next thing is you will actually do the incrementation. So the incrementation happens and that value, I value gets turns into two and then that's being stored back there. Okay. Now the, we are coming here. If true, because it was true, we entered the loop. So better we go back to L1. We go back to L1. This is where we go. And then we follow the same instruction less than or equal to then multiply then store that particular value fact is now two and then you increment two to three and then this three is stored in value i and now because we entered the loop it was true now we just go back to l1 we we'll go back to l1 again we do the check and then this time you know um it's three less than or equal to three, which is true. And then come over here and then the multiplication happens and factorial value gets updated to six and it is being stored back. And then increment i, now i becomes four and this i value is stored back. At this point of time, you can see that when I do a check, When I do a check, when I go to L1 and then when I do a check, so this time it becomes false. So if false, what we do, we come back and then we come out of the loop. So L2 is where we come out because this is the exit point of the loop. Then we output the value of fact and then exit. 